What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Series 13 team that features one of the strongest Pokemons for Series 13, Soul Heart Magirna. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. While you're down there, ring this notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my Series 13 content. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Brad, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to send me rental codes for Series 13, make sure you head down the link in the description below. Hit that link. Gene's YouTube over on Twitter, either DM me or tweet at me over there, and uh, I would love to use them for videos. So if you guys have Series 13 teams, like I said, head down there and get them over to me. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Kyogre over here. Drizzle and Mystic Water as his item and ability, and then it's rocking a fairly normal move set that is super powerful. Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Protect, and Thunder. Second Pokemon is going to be Indeedee. Indeedee is a great support Pokemon because it can set the Surge with its ability, and then it's got the Focus Sash as item. It's got Expanding Force, Helping Hand, Follow Me to Protect Ally Pokemon, and Mystical Fire for coverage move, and to drop Special Attack. Middle left is going to be Yveltal over here, and this is probably the best Yveltal set. It's got Dark Aurora alongside with the Soul Fest to make him super bulky up against Special Attackers. Then it's got Oblivion Wing for HP recovery, Snarl for Special Attack drops, Foul Play for big damage on physical attackers, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Right next to him is going to be Calyrex, and Calyrex is going to thrive in the Trick Room just like Magyar. It has the As One ability and the White Herb as its item. It's got Trick Room, Glacial Lance, Protect, and High Horsepower for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is another support mon. It is going to be Amoongus over here, another Pokemon that thrives in the Trick Room. It's got Regenerator, Black Sludge, so it gets HP at the end of every single turn, and it's rocking Giga Dream, Rage Powder, Spore, and Pollen Puff. Final Pokemon on the squad is the Pokemon we are here to showcase. We got Magirna over here with Soul Heart and Air Balloon. Soul Heart, if you guys do not know what it does, every time an ally or opposing Pokemon faints, this Pokemon gets plus one on special attack. So say we just follow me out with Ndidi and have that thing die, Magirna's gonna go up plus one. Or say we one shot one Pokemon on the other team, Magirna's gonna go up plus one. So it's super strong and it gets stronger and stronger every time a Pokemon faints on the field. Its moveset is Floor Cannon for Stab, Flash Cannon for Stab, Ice Beam for Coverage, and then it has Trick Room. So we already have Calyrex, who is arguably the best Trick Room Pokemon, and now we have Magirna, who is the next up-and-coming best Trick Room Pokemon. So this team is going to be amazing in Trick Room. Hopefully we get to pop it and get rolling with the squad. But guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, write the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Magirna team. Battle number one coming at you guys, and obviously it is not September 1st, which means we cannot use these Pokemon on the rank ladder just yet. But I want to bring you guys some content, throw these Pokemon on the casual ladder, and bring you guys rental codes so you guys can prepare for Series 13. But we're going up against a Gengar and Draco Fish team with Bolton. Is that Spritzy? That Spritzy could be Evo Light, and then he's got Eternatus and Inteleon. I feel like Papa Trick Room with Magirna is probably our play, so I'm going to lead Magirna alongside with Indeedee or Amoongus. I think Amoongus could be pretty good here. So I'm going to go Amoongus here because if I can pop Trick Room, I can just start spawning Pokemon left and right and kind of rolling out the battle from there. So I'm going to go Amoongus, Magirna, bring Calyrex in the back end, and then last but not least, I'll roll out with Yveltal because Yveltal is pretty strong. Could go Kyogre. Kyogre's not bad. Kyogre's never not bad, you know? <laughs> He's just so strong all around. But I like the team that we picked. We're going to hit done. We're going to lock it in, and we're going to lock it down. But two things that you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. One is question of the day. What mythical Pokemon do you think will be the best in Series 13? And the other thing I want to want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below is what other mythical Pokemon you guys want me to showcase next. I got Marsh Shadow Team, I got Keldeo, I got Mel Metal, I got a bunch of teams for you guys. So just let me know your guys' next mythical Pokemon that you guys want to see. But this guy's gonna end up leading Gengar alongside with Triggerfish. We're gonna hope that it's not in prison. Because if it's not, we could be sitting pretty good. Because like I said, I can just rage powder out, get some work done here, and hopefully actually kill my what's it called? Kill my uh, Amoongus, so my <laughs> Magirna goes up plus one. And then we kind of just roll from there. So I'm just going to Rage Powder. I'm going to pop the Trick Room Magirna and try to set this Pokemon up. Because like I said, guys, Magirna is one of the strongest Pokemon. Or is going to be one of the strongest Pokemon in Series 13. It is absolutely incredible, especially in Trick Room. So I'm going to do that. He's going to go for a Dark Pulse. It's going to slide over here. Amoongus should be able to soak pretty well. Really well, actually. And an Ice Fang's going to come across. Okay. Not bad, Ice Fang. That's some good damage. That is some good damage. We do have the Black Sludge. I think I'm just going to Rage Powder again. And what am I going to do with this? I don't think I'm going to Dynamax Magirna just yet. I'm going to wait for Amoongus to die just so we can go up plus one. I mean, actually, I could. 
Actually, let's just do this. Let's go Starfall here. Now that we have Trick Room and just Rage Powder again. Or I can support the Gengar. I could legit just kind of just like win this battle. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to spore the Gengar. I'm going to take out the Draco Fish with a Max Starfall. And then I'm going to go up plus one. I was going to not die. I'm actually just Rage Powder and have a Moongus die. But I can constantly just like spore Rage Powder and eventually it'll die. But I should be able to take out this Draco Fish. No problem with the Max Starfall. Pick up the KO that way and we'll off from there. But dude, Magirna is incredibly strong. It is legit OP. It really is OP. If you guys haven't used Magirna yet, definitely rent this code and get rocking with it because it is super, super strong. We're going to support a Gengar here. We're going to say Night Knight. It's just, this team's just too good in Trick Room. It has Calyrex, Amoongus, and Magirna. Three of, like, probably the three best Trick Room Pokemon possible. Magirna's going to start fall here. Should be able to just dump on this, right? Get it on out of here. Beautiful. We are going to go plus one on special attack. It's absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing. That's what's so good about this ability. Like other Pokemon have like Moxie or like Chillinay or Grimnay, which you have to kill the Pokemon in order to get it. But in Magirna's case, anybody can kill the Pokemon or anybody can die on the field. So it just makes it 10 times stronger. We put the Gengar to sleep. We get rid of the Draco Fish. We have Black Sludge rolling. We could, I think we're going to sweep this. I swept so many people with Magirna and uh, Amoongus or Magirna and Indeed just by following me or Rage Powder. Setting up the Trick Room and rolling out from there. He's going to roll out with Eternatus and I think we just dump on it. <laughs> I, say we just, I just say we just get rid of it. He does have Dynamax Gan, but he cannot affect me. I mean, do I go into a Hailstorm? I forgot that it's part poison, so it's not super effective. We go into a Hailstorm. Hailstorm will do more damage than these other moves. You know, I'm just going to go into a Hailstorm here and the Rage Power of the shot. I could be that guy just like put Eternatus to sleep, but I'm not. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm not going to be that annoying. He's going to end up Dynamaxing the Gengar here. The Gengar's going to get Dynamax and he's going to hope that it wakes up. And I'm kind of hoping it wakes up too. Because I want him to take out my Amoongus so I get another plus on the special attack board. <laughs> I want it so bad. Gengar's going to get the Dynamax and he's so cool. I absolutely love that Pokemon design. If you don't like Gengar, get on out of here. Gengar is always... He, he will always be that that top tier ghost type. We're going to Rage Powder the shots. We're just going to protect our Magirna. We're going to protect this Pokemon. And Eternatus might not even get a turn. Hailstorm coming out here. Like I said, we're plus one. It's not sad, but it is super effective. And it gets rid of Eternatus. Dude, Magirna. OP, dude. This Pokemon's OP. So we get rid of him. Buffets are going to start flying. Hopefully Gengar wakes up here. Look at that thing with his big eyes closed. We get rid of Eternatus. We're going to get that soul heart, and we are now sitting plus two on special attack. Getting stronger and stronger every single time. He's still asleep. That's awesome. We love it. The Moongus is going to take a little bit of Buffet by the hail. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. We got the Black Sludge. The Moongus is going to get his HP back, but Magirna is not at full HP anymore. Oh, does this thing have Blethers? Oh, it has Black Sludge too. Okay, so double Black Sludge. Love me some Black Sludge. Such a cool item. Let's go at him. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. And who's it going to be? It's going to be Inteleon. And Inteleon, I can just get rid of you, no problem. I can just get rid of you, no problem. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to get rid of Inteleon with this. Actually, I'm going to keep Inteleon alive. I'm going to try to showcase Floor Cannon in, in this battle. I'm going to go there. And then I'm just going to go into a Rage Powder here. And just soak up the shots. Hopefully, your opponent doesn't cancel because I kind of want to kill his last two Pokemon. He's still asleep, dude. I apologize. Three turns sleep did him dirty. Three turns sleep did him dirty. I'm going to Rage Powder. I think he was going for a Max Guard because that's the only move that would have came out before the Rage Powder. So we was trying to guard here. We're going to drop a Steel Spike here. Get a Defense Boost. This is a Stab with plus two. And look at that. A Dynamax Gengar we just drop in one shot. It's incredible. It is incredible. We get rid of him. We are now plus three on Special Attack. And this game's GG. It's GG. And I wonder if Inteleon's rocking an Ice move. And even if he is, I don't think he can KO me. I don't know if he can KO me. Soul Heart's coming out here. And I'm hoping I can just use Flur Cannon. Just to showcase how cool that move looks. He goes for a snipe shot and that's easy eats. That's easy eats all day. And he pops my air balloon. How dare you? How dare you pop my air balloon? I do like the air balloon as, as its item. I do dig it. I feel like air balloon or white herb is pretty solid. Or even life orb. But I don't I just don't feel like you need life orb with this Pokemon. It already gets the boost like crazy. But there it is, guys. Battle number one is gonna be a sweep. We get to showcase Magirna pretty much to its fullest potential. And we just get it over with. But yeah, I'm going to floor cannon because this is like the last thing I want to showcase with Magirna. It's going to be a floor cannon because it's a signature move. And it has a cool little animation. And cool. Our opponent stays in here. He allows us to drop this floor cannon. We're going to rage powder one more time. And then pick up this clean sweep of Magirna. Four kills with it? This thing is buzzing. Look at this move. Look at this move. 
Get it out of here. Plus three. Inteleon, get on out this lobby. Get on out this lobby. There it is, guys. One that already gets the video started. Let's hop to our second battle. Let's go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a team full of legendaries and mythicals. He has three mythicals. He has Mel Metal, Magirna, just like us. Then he has Victini, and then he has three legendary Pokemon with Zekrom, Zacian, and Kyogre. Okay, how should I go with this one? How should I play it? Trick Room is an absolute must for us to pop. And I might want to go into Amoongus. I mean, I'm kind of scared of that Kyogre. I'm kind of scared of that Kyogre. It is a little scary, but I'm going to go into Amoongus and Rage Powder Shots here. Amoongus, Magirna, again, I do like Calyrex in the back end, and then I kind of just want to go Kyogre for late game if we need it. So I am going to go Kyogre. Yvelta is not too bad, but I just don't think we need Yvelta and we get more value out of Kyogre. But I'm going to try to pop Trick Room again with Magirna and Amoongus, and then have Amoongus die out because he's going to have some strong Pokemon on the field, and then have the Calyrex and Magirna combo in the Trick Room out there. And that is super, super broken. It really is. Like, you guys just saw Magirna pick up four KOs, but having Magirna and Calyrex out there on Trick Room it's just insane because you can Glacial Lance and then have Magirna clean up. Glacial Lance, clean up. Glacial Lance, clean up. And anybody that dies to Glacial Lance, they'll get a Chilling Nay boost. Well, the Calyrex will get the Chilling Nay boost. And then on top of that, Soul Heart will come out with Magirna. And it's just it's just insanely broken. But he's going to end up going Zacian alongside with Kyogre. Kyogre's probably just going to drop the, uh, the, what's it called? The Water Spout, which I think Magirna can soak. As long as Magirna can soak that, we should be fine. Cause I can pop Trick Room and then just die to X Calyrex, which I really like. Which I really like. Let me see your uh, let me see your special defense stats. It's not too bad. 139. It's not too bad. You should be able to soak that up. So you know what? I'm just gonna go into the Rage Powder here, and then I'm just gonna pop this lovely little Trick Room. This lovely little Trick Room. Let's see what he does. Let's see what it is. Rage Powder poking out here. The Kai Ogre was the Pokemon I was definitely scared of, and he's gonna go for the Behemoth Blade. And Amoongus is going to be able to soak that up, but it's not going to look too hot for him. It's not going to look too hot for him. Yeah, see? I knew he was going to soak it up, but I knew he was going to be low. He's going to drop an Origin Pulse. That's even better. Like, you're going to guarantee he uh, eats that up. That's dope. And actually, a Water Spout might have killed us. A Water Spout might have killed us. Maybe you thought I was like going after him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I use that. And Soul Heart's going to trigger. So we got Soul Heart out here. Calyrex is obviously going to have to be our Dynamax Pokemon. And we're going to have to roll off from there. We are going to have to roll off from there. So I could floor cannon him. I could go into a Glacial Lance. Glacial Lance isn't too bad here. But yeah, Calyrex is definitely coming out here. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get this special defense boost and kind of roll out here with Cali. I think Calyrex is going to have to be our Pokemon. Our killer. So yeah, I can go into a... Uh, I think I'm going to go into a... What's it called? A Max Quake. Look for the KO here. I think I am Orbed. Am I? No, I'm White Herb. I'm White Herb. So maybe that might not be able to KO. That's scary. I might have to double down into Zassian just in case. Who's slower? That's the real question. Who is slower? Calyrex or Magirna? I think Magirna might be like a tad bit slower. 63. And no. Okay. Calyrex is a bit slower. Actually works wonders because he gets to go first. And I kind of want to... Mm, I got to go into Floor Cannon here. Right? I got to go into Floor Cannon. I hope that Calyrex can just take out Zassian. I don't know if it can. Zassian might even protect. But I have to get off some damage on the Kyogre. And I might be able to KO it with a Floor Cannon. But plus one. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But we have the Trick Room out. We have our combo going. We're Dynamaxing our Calyrex and we're getting all from there. I do wish I had Life Orb at this point, but White Herb is definitely a really good item due to all the Pokemon that have Intimidate in the game. Let's see what he does here. He's not going to... Well, he actually might Dynamax. I don't think he's going to. That Origin Pulse did me dirty. That Origin Pulse did me dirty. Kyogre was one of those Pokemon that can really counter up this uh, the Trick Room combo. The Rage Powder into all that. We're going to Dynamax the Calyrex in the second battle. We still have our Magirna rolling out here strong, which I love. And we're up to 414 HP. So let's see what he does. Is he going to protect? No, he is going to Dynamax. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. And I wonder what he's going into. Because if we can take out with this, uh, if we can take out with this, uh, what's it called? With this Max Quake, we'd be sitting good because I think he would go into a Geyser into me, right? Into my Calyrex. And then that means uh, Magirna can stay alive and get an extra turn out of it. We can get after the battle that way. He does protect his ass, and that hurts, man. That hurts. Luckily, we still get the special defense boost, and that works wonders for us. That's great. So, the special defense boost coming out here. He's got to be going into a what's called enemy, right? He's got to be going into a uh, a geyser into my calyx, right? There's no way he's taking out my, my main. We're gonna be able to drop a, a four cannon here. 
plus one. It is going to drop our stats, but still, it's going to do a decent amount of damage. Look at that. Nice little floor cannon there. We drop our special attack. Kind of stinks. And then this thing is just going to geyser in the Calyrex, right? Were you taking out my gear now? I really don't know what you're doing. He's going to take out my gear now. Okay, so that's his call. Takes out my gear now, and he could swap his Calyrex, but I think he doesn't have any flying Pokemon, if I remember right. So that might just be our play. That might just be our play. I mean, I could go after the uh, Kyogre with this Quake. Because I know Water Spout can KO. Hmm. He doesn't have anybody to eat up the Quake. Not one Pokemon can eat up that Quake. Super effective up against pretty much everyone. Quake's my play. Quake's my play all day in that slot. Then I'm just going to drop a Thunder and look to get a Paralyze onto this Kyogre. That's what I'm going for. I probably should protect the Kyogre because it could have Max Lightning. And we're down to our last two Pokemon. But I feel like my Kyogre can really thrive out here and win this game. I really do. Let's get it, Cali. Let's get it, Calyrex. Let's do it. I wonder if Zassian can eat this up. Zassian might be able to eat this up. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely need that Chilling Day boost. I definitely need it. And then this Thunder can do a great amount of damage. This is going to be a good battle. This is going to be a good battle. But that's what's so good about Trick Room is you can really make a hard comeback, especially when you, they get rid of your Pokemon early on. Make a move, my guy. Make a move. He withdraws Zassian. Like I said... He doesn't really have too much to soak this up. Zekrom's going to come out here. That's fine. I, th I think he just wants to save that Zassian for later usage. And Zekrom's going to take a nice... Unless it's uh, Air Balloon, which I don't think it is. It is not Air Balloon. Cool. Quick's going to fly out here. Big old damage. Super effective shot. Awesome. Thunder's going to roll out here. And I think Kyogre might be slower than Zekrom there as well. Special defense boost on the board. We love it. Can my Kyogre go next? Can my Kyogre be a bit slower? What item is that? Weakness policy. So he wanted that to happen. He wanted that to happen. Pretty smart play by him, not gonna lie. Thunder's gonna roll out here. Get some big damage. Give me the para. Give me the para. Give me the para. Get the para. Make him waste his turn. Make him waste his turn. Oh, let's go. RNG, baby. We love some RNG. We love some RNG. Okay, so from here, I could change up the weather. But I kind of want to keep it. I kind of want to keep it. I am gonna go into another quake because even if Zekron protects here, we still KO. And then I will just go into another Thunder. 100% my play. 1,000% my play. 1,000% my play. He protects Zekrom. We still KO it through this protect. We still KO it through the protect. We're going to get a chill and A plus one. And on top of that, we get another special defense. So Kyogre's plus two on special defense. Uh, Calyrex is plus three. It's beautiful. That protect did not matter. I really like that KO. I really like that KO. But my problem here is going to be Zassian. Zassian's a problem. Zassian's a problem. Zassian is a problem. His Kyogre's going to go next. It is now slower due to Paralyze, but he's going to miss another turn, right? RNG? RNG, do me good. Even if it doesn't, we still soak up really well. Oh my god, RNG doing me so well. RNG doing me so well. Thunder KO. Oh my god, yo. That might be game. It might be game. It's coming down to the wire. He might have to protect his... uh. He might protect his Zassian here. Wait, we have one more turn left in Trick Room, which is huge. Which is huge, yo. Calyrex clutching up. Kyogre clutching up with a big time paralysis. Even if, like, even if RNG wasn't on my side, we are boosting special defense. We are soaking up really well. He's going to go into Victini. And again, I think he has one more turn left. In, uh, I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. What can I do here? What can I do here? I think it's one more, right? We popped it, and then we, then we had three turns. Yeah, this is going to be last turn. For sure, for sure. It's last turn. Right, yeah, one more turn left in Trick Room. The special defense is through the roof. But that Calyrex right there can... Or that Zassian can really do me dirty. That Zassian can really do me dirty. I'm going to go into a high horsepower over into Victini. And I'm just going to water spout across the board. Water spout. Let's see what he does. Please don't protect one of your Pokemon. If he protects both. It's definitely coming down to the wire. It's definitely coming down to the wire. Because I think Rain ends in the turn as well. Like, this might be Rain's last turn. Zassian's gonna protect Victini. Please don't protect. Cool, Victini doesn't protect. This should KO, right? And, of course, this thing's Sash. But I think Victini might be faster than my uh, Kyogre. Which could be good. It is. Awesome. So, Trick Room Kyogre's gonna be able to outspeed. And now we're sitting in a position where we can really get some work done. We're sitting in a great position. Because Zassian... That's the, that's the beauty about going up against Zassian. It doesn't have any double-hitting moves. So it's forced to go after one of my Pokemon. So it either goes after my plus one Calyrex with high horsepower. Or he goes after my Kyogre who can just water spout and get off some big damage. But Rain's gone. That kind of hurts the soul. Let's try to pop a Trick Room here. 
I could do this. Watch this. I'm just gonna protect an uh water spout. Or do I origin pulse? I'm gonna origin pulse just in case he goes after my Kyogre, but I'm gonna protect. He's got a behemoth blade in me. We just cancels battle. We take that all day. What a comeback 2 0. Let's hop into our third. Showcase Magirna one more time. I'm a little surprised our last opponent actually canceled battle. I feel like he had somewhat of a chance. He definitely should have stayed in there and battled out. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against another Magirna team. And I'm always wondering, what is the difference between these two Magirnas? Like, you see my Magirna on the bottom of her team. It's like pure white with a gray and a little bit of gold. But that one's like red and gold on their team. Is there a difference between the Magirnas? I do not know. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. But he also has Victini. He has Groudon. And then he has the Venusaur Palkia alongside with uh, Amoongus for support. So uh, how should I play this one? I definitely got to get off a Trick Room. Calyrex is not going to be my Trick Room Pokemon. Magirna definitely is. Because if he goes into Groudon, we have the Air Balloon. And we kind of roll from there. I'm going to roll Indeedee over Amoongus in this battle. I just like it a bit more. Actually, I could go Amoongus. I could go Moogus. Moogus is a bag. Again, dude, the spores are just so good. But I'm going to go Indeedee because we haven't showcased it yet. Kyler's coming in back end, and then Yvelta is going to be pretty good, right? I kind of I kind of dig Yvelta more than Kyogre in this battle. Actually, no, we kind of want Kyogre just for that weather control. Weather control late game could be good. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's get that Kyogre roll. But, yeah, I want Mac Gear in a Dynamax in this battle again. I really want to try to get it all. I was going to go to Calyrex Pop Trick Room, but again, if he goes Groudon, he can just Blades me. And in this case, we have Air Balloon. Air Balloon's going to work wonders for us. He can't just straight up Blades me. So I do dig it. I do dig it a lot. I'm going to follow me. I'm going to try popping the Trick Room again, and we're going to try to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Like, you're not in Palkia's command. Do I even pop the Trick Room? I mean, I have to pop the Trick Room, right? And I have to pop the Trick Room. Do we think he's going to pop the Trick Room? What do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do? Psychic Surge popping. Oh, dude, I don't know what I do here. I don't know what I do. I could floor cannon. I might just straight up Dynamax. I really want Trick Room though. Does this Indeedy have Trick Room? This Indeedy might have Trick Room. It does not. I kind of wish it did at this point. I think I just had to pop the Trick Room and follow me this shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm scared that the Magirna is going to pop a Trick Room of its own. But hopefully he just allows me to do Trick Room. Give him Dynamax to Falcon. I'm really cool with that. I am really cool with that. I wonder what he's going to do, though. I really do. Probably going to Quake, right? Probably get a special defense boost. Or he might set... Oh, no. He's going into Magirna. Magirna coming out here. Uh, I wouldn't mind if he goes for like a defensive boost. That's right. I have Kyogre and Kalar. Uh, Kalar X is physical attacking. Never mind. Let's see what he does here. Follow me coming out here. He might change up the psychic terrain. Let's see what how, he, how this one plays out here. He can go for hydro pump. That's fine. He can take out my Indeedee all day. Actually, then he goes plus one. <laughs> he goes plus one as well. We focus Ash up. He gets a crit. Wow. Wow. A little bit of crit action. Indeedee's going to go down here. Both the Magirnas are going to go plus one. He is going to go special defense boost. From here, what do I do? Could get rid of the Palkia. Could bring out Calyrex. Trick Room's going to be out and about. This sucks. This kind of stinks, man. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. Magirna versus Magirna. It's coming down. It's going to come down to the Magirnas. I could max guard a shot. Soul Heart flying out here. We're both boosted plus one, but this is a good battle to actually end the video on. Trick Room out and about. Trick Room is out and about. And what is that? Oh, wow. It is a, uh, what is that called? A room service Magirna. So it lowers its speed and trick room. That's why I was kind of rather fast. Um, we could go into Calyrex here. But again, dude, this thing can just dump on me. I could protect the shot. Just waste out trick room turns. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to get rid of the Palkia. I'm going to, uh, get that Misty terrain going. And then I'm just going to protect the Calyrex and dodge a Steel Spike. Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds probably our best. That's probably our best bet, right? Yeah, Dynamax, Starfall. Let's get rid of you. And then just protect this Pokemon, right? I could take Trick Room back out. But then Palkia and his other Pokemon really thrive. This is a tough battle. This is a tough battle, but I'm really I'm really excited to showcase Magirna versus another Magirna. Because, again, they're just both boosting their special attack. And they're both really getting after it. So I'm going to have to Dynamax my, my Magirna here. I think a Steel Spike is coming from his Magirna. And I don't know how I'm going to counter his Magirna. Like, I don't know how I'm going to take it out. I feel like he might feel the same way as of right now. I don't know. Let's see, hopefully he doesn't protect Palkia. I'm protecting my Calyrex all day. I cannot take a Steel Spike from a plus one, you know? And she's going to do too much damage. 
And since she's going to steal spike into Kallax, right? Yeah, Kallax should be able to eat that out. But it still does a huge chunk of damage. And again, it gets a defensive boost, which kind of stinks. Kind of stinks. But it's all good. Defense boost. Going to both of them. Starfall's going to fly. Palkia's going to drop out here, right? Plus one. Magirna should be able to take it out. No problem. Yeah, and now both Magirnas are plus two. And I do not know what to do. I think I just keep taking out his left side. If he's taking out my, my left side or my right side, I have to keep taking out and just hope that my Magirna can uh, beat his in the final time. Because I will have speed at that point. Because when Trick Room ends, I will be a faster Magirna. But again, I don't know the differences between these Magirnas. They're both different colors. Do they have like different moves? Different stats, maybe? I don't know. But again, such a cool Pokemon and a really OP ability. Like this, this ability is insane. It is insane. Let's see who he rolls out into. Probably Pokemon that I want to attack. I could go for double protect. Amoongus gonna come in here. So we can rage fire that. I'm just gonna drop an ice on that. Right? Finish that thing off with an ice hailstorm. I could swap in the Kai over here. I don't know. I mean, if he's gonna steal spike me, that's fine. He can just take me out. I'm just gonna go for the glacial lance. Right? I can just go for the high horsepower. Try to get off some damage. I'm just saying. He's gonna steal spike. He's gonna say bye bye to Calyrex. I know he's gonna go into Magirna. Oh my god, that did that did ridiculous amount of damage. That did a ridiculous amount of damage. A little bit too much damage. A little bit too much damage. Air balloons pop. Spores coming out here, and we have the misty terrain. So he messes up with the spore. That's fine by me. High horsepower can come out here. Gonna do a little bit of damage to him, and more importantly, hailstorm should be able to take out this uh, Amoongus. We can roll from there. Oh, he's still spiking to me. Wow, still spike did a lot of damage. Uh, what do I do here? How can I win this battle? I think I need to waste out Trick Room. I need to waste out Trick Room. This is tough because if his back gear goes first, he kind of just whoops into me. So hard. We're plus three. <laughs> we are plus three. <laughs> it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. What do I do? What do I do? Because I feel like his Magirna is going to try to take out my Magirna. He's going to go Groudon. I'm kind of cool with just protecting Magirna this turn. And dropping a high, or not high horsepower, a uh, Glacial Lance. This is tough. This is tough. Because I have Kai Ogre in the back end. Kai Ogre can do some work. Kai Ogre can do some work. And it's two turns left in Trick Room, which kind of hurts the soul. But I gotta guard you. And I gotta hope that, uh. I gotta hope that Magirna's not going after my, uh. Not going after my Calyrex. I mean, if it is, we still have a nice chance of winning this battle. Because I can protect my Kyogre. And then hope to outspeed the Groudon and just drop, like, an Origin Pulse in the rain. Or even a Water Spout. But, yo, it's coming down to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. Magirna versus Magirna. I'm looking for a perfect record. Show me that Magirna's going after my Magirna. It does. Oh, no. It protects its Groudon. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Flash Cannon's going to come into Calyrex. We're not going to be able to take out the Groudon, though, which kind of stinks. We're not into Calyrex. Flash Cannon went into the uh, Magirna. So Glacial Lion's going to pop the rear. It's not going to do too much damage. But again, we're wasting out these Trick Room turns. They're wasting out these Trick Room turns, which is wonderful. If I can protect Calyrex this turn. Oh, this is tough, man. This is real tough. I don't like this game one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. I wish I had Protect here, but I, I do not. I guess I'll go for a Flur Cannon. You know, I'll go for a Flash Cannon over to Magirna. And I'll try to drop another Glacial Lion. Because it's either his, his Magirna is going to go first here. So it's either his Magirna takes out my Calyrex or he takes out my Magirna. And I feel like we pick up a KO on one of his Pokemon at least. You go for the Flash Cannon. Who are you taking out here? My Magirna? Yeah, he's not dealing with it. My Magirna goes down. His Magirna is plus four. But again, Trick Room's ending, which is wonderful for us. Because I know my Kyogre can outspeed it. Plus four. Man. Actually, it might go plus five after the shot. Might go plus five. But I don't know if this can KO it. It's not boosted or anything. We go for the Glacial Lance. Big time damage. It does not pick up the KO. And he's going to drop me with blades. Okay. So if my Kyogre... I know my Kyogre outspeed... Oh, he does not drop me. Big time plays. What's your speed, Kyogre? If my Kyogre outspeeds this Groudon, it's GG's... And, ooh, it might not. I don't think it does. We got to go in the Origin Pulse. We have to go in the Origin Pulse. I know we outspeed Magirna. It, it was room service, so it's minus one on speed. 
This Kyrie is rather slow, but it's for the trick room. It's for the trick room. Can we get this perfect breaking with the Maggie on the team? Gorgia Pulse coming out here. Got to be our play because the ground's going to hit us. And then just Glacial Lance or should I High Horsepower on top of that? I think I'm just going to Glacial Lance. The sheer fact is, in case the Origin Pulse misses on the ground, we definitely need to get rid of him. We definitely need to get rid of him. So the turn should go Groudon, Kyogre, Calyrex, Maggie. It's coming down to it, guys. For the perfect record, this turn is going to decide it. Can we get a perfect record with our first Series 13 team? It'd be awesome. It would be awesome. He's going to end up protecting the Groudon. I think that was a bad move by him. I think that was a real bad move by him. If we miss this Maggie, and I would be upset. Cool, we connect on the Meg and I think this should be able to KO, right? In the rain, stab. He's already half HP. There it is, Meg drops out. That is now GG's, because this Groudon cannot take out both of our Pokemon. That is now GG's. And I'm just going to switch to a Water Spout, because Water Spout has higher accuracy. And I can't really afford to miss an attack. But there it is, guys. We're going to go 3-0. And I forgot to mention this whole video that your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. We're doing Series 13 content. When Splatoon 3 comes out, we're going to be doing content over there. We're going to be doing viewer battles, all that good stuff. And then obviously when Scarlet and Bile comes out, we're going to be dominating that, that game. So if you guys made it to the video or to the end of the video this long, huge shout out to you guys. Definitely go check me out on Twitch. Hit that follow button over there. But I'm going to drop a Glacial Lance. I'm going to drop a Water Spout. We're going to guarantee yourselves a perfect record. You should drop... Actually, hold up. Wait a minute. You can get some lucky flinches. You can get some lucky flinches, but... We'll see. We'll see. I don't think he. I don't think he, he's got it. I don't think he has it. Let's see. No flinch. It's a berry now. Oh, one nerve came out here. Water spout can still KO. Water spout can still KO. And we fl hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. We're going into origin pulse now. Oh my god. I. I kid you not. If I lose this battle. If I lose this battle, I think he's gonna go for another rock sign. I think he's just looking for flinches like that here. If Groudon somehow beats this Kyogre in the rain, might start crying. Tears might start flowing out of Jean's eyes. <laughs> Could be bad. Could definitely be bad. Oxide comes out again. No flinches, man. Leave me alone. No flinches. Water Spout still probably would have KO'd. No flinches, cool. Or just pulse connects there, please. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were going to go on a spree of just flinches. And all that good stuff, or like miss attacks with origin pulses and just lose the battle. But we take that perfect record with Magirna and we showcase it to its fullest potential. What a way to get the series 13 teams rolling for my YouTube channel. Perfect record. We went 3 0 and we dominated with Magirna. We got Magirna out there alongside with Amoongus and Indeedy, set the trick room, and just thrived out with the Calyrex and the Kyogre. Did we use Givalto today? I think we brought it in battle number one, but we didn't get the chance to use it because. You know, Mike Yerner kind of just swept there and went after it. But still, you guys know what Yvelta does. I feel like we showcased his team really well and the ability with the trick room. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.